The NFL is without a doubt one of the most exciting professional sports leagues in the world because it comes with a level of unpredictability and a lot of shocking moments. It doesn't matter what team you're a fan of, every single franchise has had their fair share of shocking moments and it's no different for the Buffalo Bills who have been a part of the NFL since 1970 after the AFL NFL merger. Bills fans have witnessed a lot of shocking moments throughout the history of their franchise and in this video we'll take a look back at some of the most shocking events in Bills history. Welcome back to the Bills Bunker. I'm Jake Varco and in this video we're going to be taking a look back at the five most shocking moments in Buffalo Bills franchise history but before we do that I'd like to welcome you back to the channel and if you're new here this is my message encouraging you to subscribe to the channel stay tuned for more content coming your way all off season and into the season right here on the channel if you like this video click like and before we dive in leave a comment telling me what moment do you think is the most shocking moment in Bill's history stay tuned to the end to see what my pick is Coming in at number 5 is the 2021 AFC Divisional game that left Bills Mafia in complete and utter shock as Buffalo led the Kansas City Chiefs in the dying seconds of regulation. However, what unfolded next was unbelievable. The Kansas City Chiefs stormed down the field in 13 seconds to convert on a field goal attempt and send the game to overtime. Then, in overtime, Kansas City won the coin toss, resulting in them getting the first possession of overtime and that's all they needed to score the game-winning walk-off touchdown. This game was an instant classic in the eyes of football fans around the world, but it's a memory that Bills Mafia would certainly like to forget. In the following offseason, the NFL changed the playoff overtime rules so that both teams would get an offensive possession in overtime, regardless of the outcome of the opening drive after regulation. But for Bills fans, it doesn't matter because the result is what it is in the history books. Josh Josh's biggest fear. Vegetables. A coin toss. <laughs> this is a game I vividly remember watching right here. I did a reaction video to it and it still stings to look back on that game. Patrick Mahomes. Touchdown. Travis Kelsey. That's the game. That's the season for the Buffalo Bills. Just like that. They were 13 seconds away from moving on to the AFC Championship game and defeating the Kansas City Chiefs. But this is the result. The 42-36 victory for the Chiefs. Wow. Next up, we have the Music City Miracle, which came in the AFC Wild Card on January 8th, 2000. Buffalo had once again taken the lead in the dying seconds of a road playoff game and all looked well for the Bills. All they had to do was stop the Titans from scoring and they had advanced to the next round escaping Tennessee with a victory, but the football gods had other plans. The Bills kickoff was fielded by Lorenzo Neal who handed the ball off to Frank Wycheck, who then found Kevin Dyson with a controversial lateral pass and the rest is history because Dyson took it to the house for 75 yards to secure the victory for Tennessee in what is now referred as the Music City Miracle. This was an absolute stunner for Bills fans and it was a lasting memory that was imprinted in their minds as the last playoff memory for quite some time as the team went on a 17 year playoff drought after this devastating loss. I'm too young to remember this game and thankfully I am because I could only imagine what my reaction to that game would have been wouldn't have been pretty and it stings a little bit more knowing that there was a 17 year playoff drought right after this as if that wasn't heartbreaking enough at number three we have wide right 2.0 this one is a very recent installment of shocking moments for bills mafia because this came in the 2023 afc divisional game at home in orchard park when the buffalo bills fell victim to the kansas city chiefs by a score of 27 to 24. Buffalo's offense stalled out on their final possession of the game, but they got into field goal range for Tyler Bass to tie it up in the final minutes of regulation. However, that would never happen because Bass trotted on and he missed wide right, ending their season in heartbreaking fashion once again. 
This game is one that can simply be referred to as Wide Right 2.0 by Bills fans as it took place on January 21st, 2024, coming almost 33 years to the date of our next shocking moment that is eerily similar. I was at this game at Highmark Stadium and it was an absolutely crushing loss. Here's a bit of my reaction to it. Are you joking? I don't even know. I don't even know. Like, this play's still going on, but I'm just gonna talk to you because what the hell? It's unbelievable. Oh, you can't write this stuff up. This is brutal. Bills fans were completely devastated by this loss. You finally got the Kansas City Chiefs at home in the playoffs, and you lose in such a familiar fashion after sitting outside all day in the cold waiting for this game. That stings, it really sucked. And at number two is the original Wide Right game that took place, like I said, almost 33 years to the date of the Wide Right 2.0. This one took place on January 27th, 1991 in the Super Bowl between the Buffalo Bills and the New York Giants. Buffalo trailed by just one point in the dying seconds of the game as Scott Norwood attempted a 47 yard field goal but as time expired, he missed wide right, resulting in the Giants winning the Lombardi Trophy. This was the first of four consecutive Super Bowl appearances for the Bills of the 90s. However, it was the closest they had come to winning the big game as they were blown out in the Super Bowl in each of the following three seasons. I wasn't born for this either, but I, can o I can't even imagine, honestly. I can say I can only imagine, but really I can't imagine going to four straight Super Bowls and losing them all. It's mind-boggling because no other team has made it to four straight Super Bowls. And I guess no other team's lost four straight Super Bowls. It sucks that the Bills couldn't have even gotten one. All Bills Mafia needs is one. And the number one most shocking moment in Bills history wasn't a loss. Rather, it was a primetime game that had no finish on Monday, January 2nd, 2023. This game was expected to be one with massive implications with the number one seed in the AFC up for grabs in a battle between the Buffalo Bills and the Cincinnati Bengals. However, the game was stopped with 5.58 to go in the first quarter after Bills safety DeMar Hamlin collapsed after tackling T. Higgins of the Cincinnati Bengals and he went into cardiac arrest. I'm not going to show the video of DeMar Hamlin collapsing, but the images that were shot following the incident speak for themselves. This speaks volumes about the magnitude of the situation. After what was more than a 45 minute stoppage in play, league officials called the game as DeMar Hamlin was transferred to the University of Cincinnati Medical Center for further testing and treatment where he eventually regained consciousness and reportedly the first question that he asked was, did we win? Seeing a professional athlete collapse on the field and go into cardiac arrest was an unprecedented scenario and the image of Booger McFarland and Adam Schefter reporting live from the studio during the stoppage is really an uncomfortable memory that is forever imprinted in the minds of football fans that watch that game. The response from players and staff around the National Football League was phenomenal as many players around the league showed their support for Hamlin by wearing Pray for DeMar t-shirts the following week and the Bills had Hamlin's number three on a patch included in their uniforms. Since then, DeMar Hamlin has amazingly returned to playing football in the National Football League and he remains a member of the Buffalo Bills. But there's no doubt that this was a moment that was larger than football and it left all football fans stunned at the time. I remember I was on a cruise in Hawaii at the time of this incident and I was watching the game with some other members of Bills Mafia that were on the cruise. Shout out to Bills Mafia. But you could hear a pin drop inside the room there. Like nobody really had any idea of what was going on until we got the news later and realized the magnitude of the situation. It was something that was clearly bigger than football. And then when the game stopped, it was just such a unprecedented scenario. And it's one that definitely left not only Bills fans, but football fans in general in shock. That's why I have this as the most shocking moment in Buffalo Bills history. But I want to know, what do you think is the most shocking moment in Bills history? Do you agree with my list? Would you change the rankings and is there a game or a moment that I missed? Let's hear it in the comment section down below. 
If you like this video and want to see more content just like this, click like and stay tuned for more content coming your way. Click subscribe if you haven't yet. I'm Jake Varco. This is the Bills Bunker. And before I head out of here, I want to remind you that I will be heading to every single home game this season. And I'll be going to Houston and Seattle where I'll be getting a, a lot of content for you. Okay, so stay tuned for all that good stuff coming your way. I'm Jake Varco, signing off. This is the Bills Bunker. Go Bills.